So I'm here with Hilda and Ravio uh, from Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Fantastic. Uh, so tell me a little bit about these outfits. What did you make, like what are these made of? <laughs> Um, well, I made both Ravio and my costumes. Uh, the tunics and dress are both made out of just a simple cotton, um, which I embellished with iron-on transfers um, and ribbon. And uh, the um, let's see, the accessories, the pauldrons here are actually made of insulation foam, um, covered in paper mache, covered in paint, uh, and these are also craft foam. Mm. Uh, the helmet for Ravio is was a very difficult process, actually. Um, we first made a positive out of um, uh, insulation foam, carved it out, covered it in uh, casting fiberglass, um, and then covered that again in fabric. And then the ears are also made of just solid, uh, solid insulation foam there. Um, and the, this, the teeth are paper clay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Is that a weight belt? It yes, is it actually is. a weight belt covered in um, uh, leather oil to make it darker, and the rupee is cast resin with uh, coloring. Awesome, awesome. All right, so big question. Obviously, everybody loves Zelda. Most people are familiar with Zelda. Do you ever feel like, even though you're from a different world, maybe there's some sort of competition between you two? You know, people often pit Hilda and Zelda against each other, but I feel like we're just two sides of the same person, just as Ravio and Link are two sides of the same person. Oops, spoiler He's alert. He's given me a lot of rupees. He has... <laughs> Ravio is uh, not in any sort of competition with Link because he just makes all the money off of this. And I respect Zelda as a, a beacon of love and hope um, everywhere. <laughs> and is there a dark sheik? I do not believe there is a dark sheik, although I believe... Um, uh, in my spare time, I do do uh, some uh, Aikido and uh, pole fighting, so um, not officially, but kind of. <laughs> so, so nothing official, nothing on paper, but at the same time, if we see a dark sheik going around, we'll probably know what the deal is. Don't tell anybody. Hey, well, you just told me that he's the other side of Link. I mean, that's like... I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> All I'm saying is I get one free reign, I can tell somebody something. <laughs> So, the question we're asking everyone, though, is how do you keep Anime Boston on the cheap? Like, what are some cost-effective ways to do Anime Boston? Um, I can't really speak to doing costumes thrifty because I tend to go all out on costumes. Instead of <laughs> taking a helicopter here, we took a cab. We did not take a helicopter. That saves on costs, definitely. Yeah, that will save a lot. <laughs> As for enjoying a con in a thrifty manner, um, I try to shop around. Uh, don't impulse buy anything at the dealer's room as much as you might want to. Look for sales. Um, try to buddy up with people that you meet on, on forums or friends to uh, save on hotel costs and everything like that. And just, uh, just spend your money wisely. <laughs> And now, just to make sure, absolutely certain, 100% positive, this is not like a bizarro Superman thing. This is a, like, you're actually telling me this because it's honest. This is not a, like, you're o you only speak in negatives, correct? Oh, uh, um, I can't answer that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. I don't know if those are good techniques or not. <laughs> 